everybody, Daniel Hemrick here. I'm going to give you my version of uh, the NASCAR 10-minute tour. Come with me as we get ready for qualifying here at Michigan. Let's check this place out, see what the guys are up to. Come on in here. Obviously, it's a little quiet in here. Usually, a lot of people in and out, and you may see some people in and out as we do this interview. All the racing guys are back in the garage, just full-on thrashing. You know, this is a weekend that we haven't had in a couple weeks because it's usually impound. So with that, what I mean by that is we go into the race weekends and the cars got to worry about drivability. It's not really full flown, full, you know, full fledged qualifying setups. You're only really worried about making um, drivability where this weekend, it's the exact opposite. Bring as much speed as you can for Friday. And that's why there's nobody in here. They're all out trying to make our Bass Pro Shops Camaro Z01 as fast as possible. Um, you'll see some of our guys up here. Obviously, we got Mark. He's uh, getting us dialed in on our shocks and springs. He's making sure we're exactly where we need to be. This is it's a little private area. It's a really quick, really quick glimpse. These are the, the masterminds behind it all, engineers all um, doing their thing. You can see it's a very busy and hectic place. We'll, we'll let them get back to work. Let's carry on to the garage. Follow me here. You got it, Mark? You good? All good, buddy. All right, so I like to hear. Watch your step there. We'll go make sure they actually are working. Follow me. What's up, man? How are you? Yeah, absolutely. Have a good time. Enjoy yourself. Thank you. Let's go. Yeah, busy place. How about this weather? Beautiful weather here in Michigan. It's always a little iffy. This week's been money. Let's go this way towards the old eight car. I tell you, these teams don't get enough credit. This is full-blown thrash mode for them. I mean, everything you can do to make a little bit of speed can be the difference of, for instance, we qualified 11th here in the spring. I changed my line just a couple of feet, and that was the difference between being 6th or 11th. So you can see they're all over here, all the race teams completely just getting after it. We getting close? Tell me they're about to roll the tech. My engine man, big power. Oh, big power. That's what I like to hear. That's what I like to hear. And check out my office. Everybody's office is a little different. So you see all these hoses. I, I get a lot of questions a lot of times. You know, what, what are all these? What are all these for? Um, actually, NASCAR implemented a rule a couple weeks back where we actually have this lever right here, so we can open that up and actually get air to us. But by doing that. It also changes how the air flows down the right side of this car. So that's a tuning tool inside the car that the drivers have that we can uh, mess with, so to say, to, see, to change our balance if we need a little help. The good thing is my crew chief tells me don't touch nothing. Just leave it how we set it. This is normal, too. You'll see just random legs hanging out from underneath the cars. I'm not sure what he's doing, but I think it's hopefully it's making me faster. Some of the same stuff going on, on this side. It's my crew chief, Luke Lambert. Tell everybody hi. We're on the 10-minute tour now. How's it going? Enjoy your 10 minutes. You gonna be fast today? That's the plan. Where, where are we gonna qualify? Well, we were fifth in practice, and we got a little bit more to work on here, so we're shooting for the pole. I'm talking about the valves. You tell me, don't touch them. Just leave them how you set them. Make me fast. That's right. <laughs> there we are. Put it the way we got it, and you go hammer down. That's exactly right. How much time we got left? 10-minute tour, right? What minute are we on? Three minutes ago. So you'll see all these generators too. Like, man, what are all these carts everybody's pushing around? This right here will get rolled out behind the car. This is cool down machines for our cars. They'll have them plugged in, heating the oil up, and, and keeping everything else as cold as possible to keep the engine temp out. Um, it's crazy how far the sports come. There's so much money spent in all this stuff up and down pit road that people don't really have a full clue of it. The good thing is, I don't know the exact numbers because that's not my job. Go mingle around with some fans here. We got Austin Dillon. He was the fastest guy in practice. Hey, oh, I appreciate it, man. Thank you. It's the legendary Tim Latiga. Actually, people, a lot of people don't know, that was the first car owner I ever had. He worked for me on the Xfinity stuff the last uh, two years until I made the switch to Cup this year. Um, and obviously, he's doing a good job because their car has been extremely fast. They're top of the board in practice, and hopefully one of our RCR cars can back it up. Looks like they're uh, not quite as far along in the tech process as we are. Uh, as, as cars begin to roll the pit road uh, through the tech line, you got to get through the tech line first and then the pit road. But it's, uh, like I said, busy time, thrash time for sure for the rest of these guys. 
Jay, you keeping everybody straight? Yeah, it's, it's the man behind the scenes. Jay, make sure I'm on uh, on par all, every week, doing the right thing at the right time. I try. Mustache looks good. Thank you. Always. Always good. Best mustache in the garage right here, folks. Let's go back. Oh. She, she always cares. She don't want to be on TV. Oh, oh that's all right. What's your name? Jocelyn. Jocelyn? That's a very interesting name. What do you got there, a card? Yeah. Here, you, you be the interviewer for a minute. Okay. Any questions for me? Um, how are you going to do today, tomorrow, when you're racing? On Sunday. We're going to get through the day first. Got to get through the day first. And um, here, hold this. And if we qualify good, which I think we have a good shot at qualifying inside the top five. I was just telling everybody here, we're on the NASCAR 10-minute tour, that our teammate was the uh, fastest in practice, and we were fifth. So hopefully we can back that up. Four more spots better. I don't want my teammate to beat me. A um, lot of speed, though. Nice hey, meeting y'all. Have right, a good man. time. Enjoy good yourself. Good luck. Yeah, thank you. Take care. Absolutely. I, I can't leave you hanging. There we go. There we go. All right, let's go talk Kyle Ricky over here from MRN. He's always hassling me about doing an interview, and it's usually at the most unopportune times. So we're gonna put him on the spot. That's just the man I want to see right here, ladies and gentlemen. Kyle Ricky, we're on a NASCAR 10-minute tour. I was just sharing with him how you usually want to talk to me when I'm really busy and I got something else, not better to do, but more efficient to do. Absolutely. Good today? I'm good. How was your practice? Practice was good. I told them we're fifth quick. Hopefully we can go back up and qualifying and uh, have opportunity to set our Bass Pro Shop Camaro on the pole. What um, you gonna ask me any good questions today? Do I ever? Uh, well, I mean, it's hit or I miss. Mean, always, right? if, we're, if we're talking about short track racing, usually it's pretty good. Well, then we're gonna be talking about some short track racing. Did you do any short track racing this week? Yeah. There yeah. You go. Stafford Speedway in Connecticut. There you go. I uh, I actually went to Kakana Speedway in Wisconsin. Really cool racetrack. If it's a short track crowd, every gets a chance to uh, check it out. I didn't have much luck. We had a trailing arm come apart, but we, uh, we were fast, and that was, that was fun. I told you, a busy area. Everybody almost gets ran over up through here. Uh, oh, you want a picture? Kyle Ricky, ladies and gentlemen. Let's do it. Come on over here. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Thank you for everything do you do. Good luck this weekend. Appreciate it, man. Luck, yes, sir. Good seeing you. Yes, sir. Absolutely. Take care. One more. Oh, yeah. Let's do it. How are you? Come on in. Sign up for you? Thank you. Your first race? No, not your first race? You're on the NASCAR 10 minute tour. Wait, wave to everybody. Tell them hi. Hi. <laughs> Japan? Yes. You live here full time? How about that? We got fans from all over. That's what's so great about our sport. All right, we're going to carry on. Nice meeting y'all. Have a good time. Good seeing you. Yeah, appreciate it, guys. I said that. Walk by my truck. Let's go this way. So my, uh, that's my motor coach driver. That's also an unsung hero of the garage area. That guy's in the motor home. We'll race Sunday. Packs it up. Tim Coffee, ladies and gentlemen. He'll have me and my wife taken care of. I'm getting a little hungry. I almost need a sandwich. It's almost, it's almost time to eat. Yeah, I think we're wrapping up. We're almost close, aren't we? Ten-minute tour, minute and a half left. Almost there. Okay, come on back inside. The other question you get as, as, a, um, as a driver is what do you do when you're hungry, when you're sitting there trying to kill time? We are all the time in the snack cabinet, especially rain delays. These pit crew guys, they say rain delays are the worst. Plenty of snacks for everybody. So we make sure we um, have plenty of stuff stocked up for a rainy day, so to say. We, we had a little interesting thing happen in practice. We almost had to go to a backup car. And if we would have had to have done that, a lot of other people don't realize we always have a full-blown race car ready to go. Come on up here. Let's take a look at this. It's got a couple bags up here. But every week we always have a full-blown car up in here. Ra raise that up a little bit. Ready to go just in case uh, we find ourselves in a tough spot. But n no need for all that. Just figured I'd show it to you. Um, I, I think they say it's almost a million dollars when this thing's rolling up and down the road, which is pretty uh, mind-boggling to think about it. But... That all that being said, we're coming to an end here on our 10-minute tour. Hopefully, y'all enjoyed seeing the garage, seeing the uh, the kind of the men behind the scenes that make all this stuff work to make us drivers look good, uh, as well as mingling with some fans. That was pretty cool to see uh, and meet some of those folks from Japan. W what a diverse sport, right? Um, hopefully, y'all tune in with us this weekend and go try to set our Bass Pro Shop Camaro Z01 on the pole and uh, go race Saturday and Sunday and see if we can make it happen. Thanks for uh, thanks for the time. Enjoy the tour, and we'll see you around.